if you look at, let's say, um, the weather report, and the meteorologist says there's a 25% chance of rain tomorrow, and then it does rain, what's your response? Are you like, fire the weatherman? <laughs> right, you don't say this. You don't say, how can I ever have confidence in this person again? He said there was merely a one in four chance that it will rain, and then it did rain. <laughs> no, this is nonsense. We sort of accept that the weather is somehow subject in a fundamental way to a certain amount of uncertainty, that the right answer to the question, is it going to rain tomorrow, is never yes or no. That's just the wrong answer. The right answer is almost always it might rain tomorrow and it might not, and I will try to give you some indication of which one of those outcomes is more likely and by how much. Weather is pretty hard to predict, but there are like, there are like differential equations that govern the weather, right? You can't ask a physicist that we have good computer models. Human behavior is vastly more complicated than the weather. I mean, even in the aggregate is maybe a little bit better than in the individual. But even so, as you guys know very well, predicting human behavior is difficult. We don't have a differential equation that does it for us. So we, if we accept about the weather that there's some fundamental degree of uncertainty that we must, if we're to be mathematically accurate, accept, we certainly had better accept that same thing with respect to politics and with respect to the decisions that we have to make um, as marketers and as salespeople. Any serious data analyst would say the same thing. And I think those of you in the room um, who are directly involved with analysis um, know that we are not computer programs, we are not spreadsheets. When we do analysis, we're using our domain knowledge, we're using our intuition, we're using our knowledge of the subject. We're not just turning a crank. Many people, especially outsiders, see it as a kind of one drop rule, that if there's one drop of quantitative stuff in your analysis, then that's the same as if you just like outsourced your entire decision-making capacity to a spreadsheet. But it's not like that. I think the people who do it right, and I think Nate is one of them, understand that data analysis is a tool, one of the tools we use to do our job better, but it's always married to our deep domain knowledge about the situation, and it's always married to our human intuition.